Amen. Amen. Now let us sing with uplifting voices on page 384, 384 in our United Methodist hymnals, page 384, and let us sing with uplifting voices. Community, we ask that you continue to pray for Sister Flossie Fulton and those who are on our sick and shut in list. We just ask that you pray for one another and pray for Bethel United Methodist Church. So let us pray. Merciful and grateful God, we come just to tell you thank you. God, we thank you for being so good to us. We thank you, O oh God, for letting us see another day, a day that we never seen before. We pray, O oh God, that you will come into our lives and move from heart to heart and mind to mind. We pray, O oh God, as we enter in this place to worship, that our hands may go up and say hallelujah and thank you, Jesus, because you brought us from a mighty long way. God, every time we leave home and go back home, it's a, it's a blessing. And we pray right now, God, for those who are sick. We pray, God, right now, those who are in the hospitals and nursing homes. We pray right now for Sister Flossie Fulton. We pray, oh God, for her grandson who's in McLeod Hospital. We pray, oh God, for every name that is on our sick and shut in this. God, we know that your prayers can go where we can't go. And we know that we can pray to a God that has all healing power. Lord, I just want to thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Next we have our scripture lesson. Uh, Sister Emily Moyd will do our Old Testament scripture and Tiara will do our New Testament scripture. So we ask them to come and do our scripture for us. When the New Testament scripture is read, we ask those who are able to stand to stand for the reading of God's word. Amen. Amen. Moses and the good and the glory of God. Moses said to the Lord, I have been told to lead those people, but you have not let me know whom I will. You will sin with me. And uh, come proclaim my name, the Lord and the Lord in your presence will, I will ha have mercy whom I have mercy, I will. 
have compassion and uh, whom I have com have compassion but he said the you you cannot see my face for no one may see my me and live then the Lord said there there is is a place near me where you may stand on a rock with with my glory come for our affirmation of faith our affirmation of faith can be found on page 881 881 in United Methodist Hymnals and when you've gotten there please say amen <clears throat> and let us begin I believe in God the Father Almighty maker of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ his only son our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit born of the Virgin Mary suffered on the Pontius Pilate the third day he arose from the dead he ascended into heaven and sit it at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From then he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints. Amen. Amen. Glory Patrice. to pray and my soul I got happy and I stayed all day well my wings got stuck to the gospel of power and I won't take nothing for my journey right now hey if you don't believe I've been redeemed come on and follow me down to the journey stream well I stepped in the water and the water was cold it chilled my natural body but didn't harm my soul the lord's good to me i said the lord good to me i said the lord's good yes well he keep making a way for me into the midnight and today he pick you up when you down well God is good all the time Saying, Lord, help me, please. Got up and singing and shouting the victory. Oh, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Oh, oh, oh Satan. By the way y'all act, I don't know whether victory is yours or not. Some of us ain't say nothing since we've been here, but we got the victory. Song said, when I rose this morning, I didn't have no doubt that the Lord would bring me out. 
Y'all still don't act like y'all know who he is. Oh, you ought to give God some praise this morning because you could have been dead and gone, laying in somebody's funeral home, but God allowed you. Another chance. I want to use for a brief topic this morning. When you do your part, God will keep his promise. When you do your part, God will keep his promises. Let us pray. God, here we are on this fourth Sunday in the month of October. We come, God, telling you thank you. Because you've been amazing to us. And we thank you, God, just because of who you are. We thank you, God, just because of your name's sake. And we give you glory this morning because without any other name, where would we be? God, as I stand here to deliver a word from you this morning, open our hearts and minds to receive what you have in store for us. Anoint, consecrate me, O God, as I stand behind this sacred desk to proclaim a word to your people, to proclaim salvation, healing, and deliverance. God, it's in Jesus' name that we offer this prayer. Let every heart say amen. amen. When you do your part, God will keep his promise. He will bless them. If they disobey, then he would bring judgment upon them. The judgment is meant to bring Israel to repentance. And God assured Solomon that if we humble ourselves, pray, repent, and then turn from our wicked ways, then God would deliver us from everything that's going on in our lives. And, 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 and I just believe this is not just for Israel. And he was not just talking to Solomon. He's talking to us today. He's telling us the same thing. If we be obedient to his word, he will bless us. But if we are disobedient, he is going to bring judgment on all of us who are not in his will. God also told Solomon that, 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 that what he would do to the land if they don't obey. He said that said the Israelites don't change their wicked ways then the, and their sin against the Lord. He will shut up heaven's rain as well as send locusts to devour the land and send plagues to the land as well. Yes, yeah, he, he, he may not have shut up the rain. He may not have sent locusts, but I do believe, and you I don't care what you say, but I do believe God is sending things here on this earth to get our attention. Part that you need to do. And if you do this, then I will do that. The first thing is we need to humble ourselves. Humbling means showing that you're not too proud to ask for something or too proud to admit that you're wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let me just put a pin there. Uh -huh. A lot of us, sometimes including myself, hate to admit that we're wrong. Yeah. We'll do everything to prove our point that we're right. Yes. Amen. But we're totally wrong. We'll do everything in the world to convince folks that we're right and they're wrong. And no matter what they say, I'm still right. Y'all right. might have quiet. Right. <laughs> but sometimes we are wrong. We're wrong on how we treat people sometimes. We're wrong on how we think. We're wrong on how we love one another. We're, long, we're wrong on the treatment of other folk who don't look like us. We're wrong doing. 
And that's exciting this morning to know that somebody loved me even sometime when I don't love them. That he loves me even when I'm at fault, doing folk wrong. He loves me when I don't do right. He loves me anyhow. That's good news. That Jesus God loves us in spite of everything. The third thing on our part that we need to do is seek his face. And when we seek God's face... We are seeking his presence. There's nothing like being in the presence of our almighty God. There's nothing like being in relationship, being in the presence of God, knowing that this is the same God that knows all about us. The call to seek God's face was issued to his people because we, they have abandoned him and is in need of repentance. And when we approach God in prayer, we are seeking his face. The true nature of worship is seeking God's face. When we come to church and we come to church and riding in our car, wherever we be, and God may be upon us and we just glorify his name and we worship his name, that's truly seeking God's face. We're seeking God's face when we tell him, thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for making a way out of no way. Thank you for putting the money in my pocket. Thank you for having food on my table. Thank you for being a shelter in the time of need. And when we see God's face, we're desiring to know his character. And wanting him more and more each day. We seek God's face with all of our heart and our mind. The Bible tells us we can seek God with our heart, mind, body, and soul. All of those things we seek God's face. We want us to see Jesus. We Seek God want us to do. He's still a forgiving God. Even when we don't treat folk right, he still is a forgiving God. He forgive our every sin. But as long as we are sinning in the world, we're separating ourselves from God. But it's just amazing how God still loves us even in our sinful nature. But we can't love one another no matter what we do. See, we need to love one another no matter the circumstances, no matter the situations, no matter whether you live on this side of the track or the other side of the track, whether you got a good job or, or, or not paid so well paid job, we need to love one another. See, we come to this place called the temple, the sanctuary, to love on one another because we are God's children and he wants all of us to be in communion with him. And in order to be in communion with God and one another, we must love ye one another. How can you say you love somebody you never seen but hate somebody you see every day? We love the Lord but I can't stand the person sitting on the pew in front of me. We love the Lord but when they sing my song and they know they're supposed to be singing my song. I love the Lord. But when people treat us wrong, then we get revenge. How can you say you love God in whom you've never seen and don't like the person sitting next to you? 
Let me move on. But then, after God said, after you do all of that, let me tell you what I'm going to do. The Bible tells us in the same verse, he says, then I, which means God as well, will hear from heaven. God is saying, I hear your prayers. And even though I am God, I'm in heaven, but I hear your prayers, but are you sincere about your prayers? Or are you praying just to be praying? I hear what you're talking about. You know, some of us, we have selective hearing. We hear what we want to hear. And my wife will tell you that I do that sometimes. <clears throat> she be talking and sometimes I don't know what she's saying. And then she'll ask me, did you hear what I said? And I said, not really. But we all have selective hearing. We hear what we want to hear and we don't hear what we don't want to hear. But to mo this morning, I want you to hear the words of the Lord. He's telling us that we have to repent of our sins. We have to turn from our wicked ways. We have to pray and seek his face. And then he prays that renewal will take place. He gives us the assurance that no matter what is going on, that healing take place. He'll heal our bodies. He'll heal our minds. He'll heal our souls. He'll heal our spirit, but more or less, he'll heal the world. He'll heal the world. And he's capable of healing the world. Thank you, Lord. And once he healed the world, everything will work out for our good. You see, when healing takes place, there will be more love and compassion for one another. When healing takes place, sins are forgiven. When healing takes place, we can rejoice knowing that God is going to do what he said he's going to do and what he said he's going to do that. He said he's going to supply all of our needs according to his riches. That he'll be a bridge over troubled water. He'll be a rock in a weary land. He'll be all that he said he'll be to us. But we, as his people, we are called by his name. And in our time of humbling ourselves, praying and seeking God's face, we don't have any other means to change what is happening in the world around us. But I just believe that if we do what God wants us to do, and if we do our part, then he'll do what his part. So this morning, I beg and I plead with you to turn from your ways. Seek God's face. Pray. And then God will heal the land. And I don't know about you, but this world is in need of a healing. This world is in need of healing from ourselves, from all the craziness, from everything that's going on in the world. The world needs healing. And when the world is healed, we'll be able to get along with one another better. When the world is healed, we won't have wars and rumors of wars. When the world is healed, we don't have to worry about fighting and infighting and fighting one another and fighting folk in the church because the church will get in line. The world will get in line. We will get in line once God heal the land. Amen. We won't have to worry about what brother so-and-so say or what sister so-and-so say because we'll be in line what God has in store for us. So this morning, I challenge you to read 
2 Chronicles 7 and 14. Live your life according to his word. And once you do that, your life will change forever. You'll be better people. You'll be a better servant. And you'll want to do what God has commanded you to do. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm all right, all right now. I'm all right, all right now. I'm all right. I'm all right. Ever since I, ever since I, Lord, I'm. I'm all right. All right now. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. Ever since I, ever since I, ever since I, ever since I, Lord, I'm. The song says I'm all right now since I gave my Jesus. But there may be one who gave his heart. Today is your day. Come and get to put your hand and give your heart to Jesus. He's calling on someone this morning. Somebody don't know Christ. And everybody who come to church isn't saved. So there may be one this morning who want to give their life to Christ. There may be one this morning who want to cry out and say, Lord, I yield, I yield. Because you can't get to heaven without being saved. And he reminds all of us that all, none of us was totally right before we came to Christ. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to have everything lined up in order to come to Christ. He said, just as I am. Without one plea, just as I am. That means you can be broke, busted, and disgusted. You can be on drugs, you can be on alcohol. He said, just as I am. He wants you to come. He wants you to come. met Jesus and when we accepted him as our savior we were some were down in the dump some was going through so you don't have to we, we look different now the seen us before he cleaned us up and he same for you so as a question to the discipleship song we have to stand as we open the door of the church you can come and give God your heart you can come you have plenty of good room here at the altar you can come to the altar because you're dealing with Dealing with personal loss, dealing with
of things. Some are dealing with sickness. Some are dealing with family issues. Some are dealing with depression. Some are dealing with bereavement. But Lord, no matter what we deal with, you are always with us. Yes, Lord. And we need your help right now. Need you, Lord. The Bible tells us that there's no other thing that we can call on and you will come see about us. So we're calling on the name of Jesus this morning. Yes, Lord. That same Jesus that went to the cross for all of us. Yes, Lord. We're calling on Jesus this morning because we need you. Yes, Lord. More than we ever needed you before. Yes, Lord. We need you, God, because some are sick. Yes, Jesus. We need you, God, because some are suffering from cancer. Some have no pressure. Some who are dealing with heart issues. Yes, some Jesus. are dealing with all kinds of health problems. But Lord, there are also some who yes. are dealing with problems on their job. Yes. yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Some are having financial issues. Some are having problems in their home. But God, we know that you're able yes. to do all things but faith. Yes, yes Lord. Thank you, Lord. God, you showed us over and over again of your mighty power. Yes, Lord. You show us that you have power to bring families back together. Yes, Lord. Power to mend the brokenhearted. Hallelujah. Yes, power to make a way out of no way. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Power to comfort those who are going through bereavement and a power to heal those who are sick. Yes. And God, without you, we are nothing. Yes. Nothing. But with you, we can do all things but fail. With you, you strengthen us. You, 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 you pull us up on every leaning side. And you tell us that you are our Father. Yes, Lord. And we are your children. Yes, Lord. And we thank you for your grace. Thank you, Lord. And your mercy. Yes, Lord. That watched over us. Yes, that kept us and still keeping us up into this bad present moment. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. God. We don't know what else to do but to call them with your holy and righteous name. We don't know what else to do when sickness comes. We don't know what else to do when death comes but to seek your face. We pray that you will come in our presence and hold us tight and let us know that you have us in the palm of your hand. Thank you, Lord. God, we want to thank you right now because we didn't ask you for so much, but we thank you, God, for life, health, and strength. We thank you, God, for what you've already done in our lives. Thank you, God, for what you're going to do in our lives. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We pray for our young people right now. Pray, oh God, that they will seek your face. Pray, oh God, that they will put the guns down and pick up the word. We pray, oh God, that they, when they pick up the word, they will read the word and understand the word, oh God, that it may go into their heart and they may change their lives. Thank you for a home in your kingdom. Wherever they will be like so. We'll sing howdy, howdy every day. Every day. In the wonderful name of Jesus Christ that we offer this prayer. Let every heart say amen. 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 Dr. Brian McKnight will come with our announcements. Let's receive him by the words of amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Once again, good morning. Good morning. Do we have any visitors who would like to stand, say your name, you may do so at this time? We would like to welcome all visitors here at Bethany United Methodist Church family and pastor extends a very warm welcome to everyone who's visiting with us today. Whether you are a visitor or searching for a place of worship, 
We are delighted to have you here, and when you leave this building, we hope that we have cultivated a positive relationship and encouraged your spirit in the Lord. Once again, you are welcome. The thought for the week. Be careful how you live. You will be the only Bible some people will ever read. All right. Amen. All right. Thank you, Lord. Let us remember to pray for our sick and shedding members, friends, family, church, community, and each other in the names of Sister Paula Leggett, Sister Verley Epps, Brother Esau Rouse Jr., Brother Gus Scott, Sister Krista House, Sister Jeannie Brown Burroughs, Sister Luetta G., Sister Barbette McFadden, Sister um, Flossie Hope. And these are some friendly mm -hmm. reminders. Beth United Methodist Church, um, excuse me, Beth United Methodist Bible Study will be held on Wednesday at 6 o'clock p.m. Women of Faith quarterly meeting third Sunday following service and United Methodist men meeting every second Sunday at a Saturday at 8 o'clock a.m. We are collecting baby items until next Sunday, October 29th for Moses Closet. Items can be left in the Fellowship Hall. We are asking that um, everyone bring a bag of candy or a trunk or tree next week. Hello friends and family, our Veterans Day program is Sunday, November 5th at 10 o'clock a.m. Please make a donation. Not at Methodist Church, uh, thank you for coming. The choir came every night. Uh, so thank you and thank you for the ones who prayed uh, for me while I was at Revival. And thank you for coming out to Revival last week, uh, this week past, here at our own church. We had a good three nights. Uh, the preachers really preached every night. So we were, souls were revived, and we thank you for supporting our revival. On a personal note, let me thank everyone who called, sent cards, financial donations uh, to me during the time of the loss of my brother. Um, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts um, for God, what God has placed on you to place, uh, place on us. So we thank, we are thankful this morning that we're back here at church uh, on this Sunday morning. And thanks, Sister Reverend McKnight, for preaching for me last Sunday. Uh, we buried my brother, where well, we had a memorial service with my brother last Sunday. And she stepped in and preached for me. So I thank everyone, everyone from the bottom of our hearts for your generosity, your prayers. And um, we just grateful. Uh, that you've been wonderful to us. Amen? Amen. 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 Um, to re anyway, our Bible study Wednesday night will be done by conference call. will be done by conference call. We will use the same Bible study that <clears throat> we gave two weeks ago. I know some people may not have it anymore, but uh, <laughs> I'll email it to you. If you send me your email address, I will email it to you to be at 6 o'clock on Wednesday night on conference call um, and the conference call number is let me find it I hadn't used it in a while so I think it's nine nine zero nine seven eight nine nine zero five thousand and the code is 824, hold on, let me make sure I give you the right information. I think it's 824. There it is, that is. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm going to... Ask Sharon to put it on our program um, because we will be doing Bible study from conference call. So thank you so very much. Um, I would like to meet the trustees immediately following church in the first Sunday school room um, of meeting of importance. Um, and let me just give you a quick brief update um, just in case some of you are wondering what's going on. 
Uh, you know we asked you for, um, for us to go and borrow some money. We put a roof on. Uh, we're waiting on permits from the fire system. We have quotes from the sound system Thursday on the first Sunday. Uh, please, ma'am, if you would, give to that so that um, there's going to be a meal prepared. And also don't forget about our truck or treat for our youth and children on next Sunday, correct? On next Sunday. Candy or, or donations, correct? Okay, okay. And it will be right out in the front, of, in the parking lot. Okay. So please, ma'am, remember our children. They're selling hot dogs in the day, uh, and they'll trick or treat, uh, trunk or treat next Sunday. If all hearts and minds are clear, we can ask the acolyte to come and sting out our candle. <laughs> he kind of looking around, look. <laughs> <laughs> Wondering this if it's if it's him or not. <laughs> He's in training, so he'll be all right. <laughs> 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 